Good morning, Divergence Traders. How y'all doing today? I'm doing mighty fine. <laughs> mighty, mighty fine. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, let's go. Let's check these out. We're looking at the NASDAQ 5 minute today. No ninja today. So, anyway, uh, here we go. Here's the trade right there. Divergence, baby. Right up to there. And you would have got long right there. Before the market opened. This was at 9 o'clock. This was a 9 o'clock trade. If you held it through the stock market open, well, you did good. If you hold it to the right to the top, you did real good. 169 points to the top. On the NASDAQ with hidden divergence. Okay, that's just my phone there doing a little ding-a-ling-a-ling. Ding-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling. So, um, that was the trade. And we had, you know, a couple of these little thumbs here. Lower close, up it goes. Lower close and up it goes. There, that's good enough for that. Okay, let's move on. Um, on a 15 minute, hold on, on a 15 minute. Yeah, there was a trade from down here too, even lower. Which would have, if you would have got in long down there to the top, 230 points. Yeah, would have been good. Would have been good, 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 good. Okay, let's put that back on the five. Let's go check out the S&P. I don't think it's so nice as the NASDAQ. It's kind of ugly if you ask me, but it has a couple of these on that one. Patrick Wheeland Magic right here. <laughs> yeah. What they call a flag, a bull flag. Okay. What am I looking for here? One of these? Yeah, one of these. Um, oh, it's a wrong one. I'm sorry, I had a brain fart there. Mode Z, Tabernacle again, again. Aluminum in my brain. What the fuck? Okay, there's the trades. Buy here, up it goes. Buy here, up it goes. Buy in here, and up it goes. And I wouldn't recommend any more after that because it's in the high range of the day. You want to trade in the mid, no, no, no more than the mid range. Okay? Okay. So let's look at Dow Jones 30 Industrial. Yeah, the Dow, man, the Dow. I thought I seen a trade here, <laughs> but no. <laughs> There's no fucking trade there. No. Why? Because this needs to be less than this on this side and it's not it's more because it followed the price all the way up there so there's no divergence to sell it okay let's keep going pound dollar five minute oh yeah we have a trade here right here hidden divergence from this big mountain top right down into there boom that's the trade um that's the entry if you would have sold it there, it went down 57 pips. And the euro, which I don't like to look at, but we'll try. We'll try today. Something like that. It got short right there, and down it goes. Here's another one right here, see? That's another hidden divergence trade to the downside, and you would have entered right there. 
and down it went. And it was a winner. Pound yen. What did pound yen do? Yeah, same trade. Hidden divergence. Yeah. To the sell side. To the sell side. Right there. And down it went. And EJ, Euro yen. Same trade. Same trade on all of them. Look at that. See, right there, from the big mountain top down to there, or is it there? Yeah, there, somewhere in there. Okay, you would have got short right there, and it went all the way down. And now, oil. Oh, look what oil did. Took off right up there. Oh. See how they do that? You, I've told you guys this so many times where there'll be a nice trend. See this trend? And they know there's people selling down here. It's a fucking major trap. And then on the very last candle, whammo, right up here. So if you're short thinking we're going to break the lows right here, nope. And it went up 55 points. Fucking bastards. See? That, that That's trickery, man. That's trickery. It's like, come on. It should be against the law. It's not. And people will continue to get screwed by these quick of the end of the trend moves in the opposite direction all over and over and over again, and they'll keep falling for it. Like I told you guys. Okay? Higher highs, all right, just like this. Okay, always sell from near the top, which is in here, but don't try and sell at the top. And down here, or I mean, don't buy at the top. You need to sell over here. You need to sell from the top, not buy at the top. Just like here, don't sell at the bottom. Look for a buy trade. Well, it happened too quickly to give you an entry, but look at how fucking they rallied it up. And look, they're taking it right back down again. Just to really, they didn't shake you up enough. They need to give you your head another shake. They're going to shake you up again. Shake you out, shake you up. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's look at gold now. Gold, 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 gold. Gold is golden. Yeah, we got higher highs here. We got the divergence. Here, let me show you. I'm not cheating you. But I can leave it like that, or I can just slide it up to that one. Same thing. See? It's divergent. Okay. I didn't want you to think I wasn't you know, I was cheating or something. I don't do that. I'm a very honest guy. Okay. I don't know, though, if you would have sold in there and didn't go very far. It would have freaked you right out when I come up here because your stop is right here. So if you sold right there, your stop would be 63 points. Did it go down 63? No, not yet. It went down 40. Okay. What well, we've been long waiting for. <laughs> I can't believe it myself. That's why I'm happy today. Okay. Bitcoin? It ain't doing much. It's it's stalling. For whatever reason, it doesn't want to go past 100,000. So, But the star of today <laughs> is X. R P baby. Look at that motherfucker go parabolic baby. <laughs> Look at that shit, man. In the last fucking one, two, four days, it's went up a dollar twenty-six in the last four days. And remember I told you about my IT guy, how he told me to oh sell it here and then it's gonna go down and then you you know, you can take profits and you can buy in again down here. 
Didn't go back there, did it? No, it didn't. Anyway, 265, man. So wheat. Soon it's going to hit 330, which is the all-time high of the XRP. Okay, I'm sure of it now. Um, I think it's going a lot higher, though. Like, we're talking... I think for sure I'm going to see $100, for sure. Maybe two, $300 for now. And I, I, I think the way it's moving up so rapidly right now, and it's, and it's not like retracing big time and, you know, like, like coming back down 50%, right back down again. It's not doing that so far, knock on wood. But... Uh, Meaning it's, it's it's just full of buyers and it's going to go higher. So wait and see. So anyway, I just want to show you the two um, bull flags right here on this chart. Both of them winners. Yes, indeed. Both of them winners. They're kind of like the same thing as my lower close buy it up it goes. Yeah, they're kind of similar. It's right here, lower close right here, buy it, next one, buy it, up it goes. Lower close right here, next one, buy it, up it goes. Same thing as the fucking, you know, the, the bull flag or the bear flag or whatever. They're both good, actually. I'm not cutting down the bear, the, the flag, the flag, uh, you know, setup. No way. It's really good. I remember doing them back in... It was 2007, I think I was trading that. Yeah, it was 2007. It was good, and it worked back then, too. Yeah, you see, there's only so many things you can do on a chart. You know what I mean? Like, it goes up, it goes down, it goes sideways. You know? It's like, just got to learn the ins and outs of it, though. A lot of people would sell all the way up and, and, and lose money, you know. It's just, it's what people do. It's what's tra it's what's programmed or in the wiring of their brain of, of it being a human. I don't know. It's all kinds of stuff like that. But anyway, doing real good, the XRP. It's going to go a lot higher. Hold on to your hat. Here we go. <laughs> Better hold on to it because it's going to fucking blow off your head. <laughs> oh, shit. Silver. I bet it's down. Yeah, it's down. Ethereum. Oh, oh, it's staying up there. It's trying to get back up above there. I don't know what's w with Bitcoin, but it should be breaking the 100K. Oh. Yeah, they knocked it down from last from, from last from Friday. Yeah, maybe it's not going up to the highs now. Maybe they're gonna knock it down. Who knows? But anyway, look at that XRP, man. <laughs> it's fucking gone up, fucking huge, like over two dollars. Like it's gone up. You know, it was at fifty four cents. Is that like 50 cents right here? 53 cents. And it's 267. It's went up four, over 400%, man. 400%. Yeah, I bought it like lower than that in the 20s and 30s. I bought it. But anyway... <clears throat> Holy Jesus, she going. Just doesn't stop, just keeps rolling up and down. See? What I, what I can't wait to see is like what happened to Bitcoin and Ethereum. You see? I don't know where what price Ethereum started at, but I know I know Bitcoin. It was a fraction of a penny. It was like one tenth of one cent. And I seen it at that price, and I never bought any. But anyway, <clears throat> um, you know, think about the people <laughs> who bought bought it for for uh, 
like say say a half a penny or even a penny let's say a penny <laughs> and, and look at how much it's worth now two dollars 68 cents and they bought it for a penny you know how fucking rich those people are even if they bought a thousand of them or something well no you need more than a thousand you need a couple thousand but it's just crazy. It's just crazy, man. How it's rallying up. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for coming out and listening and watching and enjoying. Uh, please hit the like button if you liked what you heard and seen today. Um, there's a lot of people who still who think it's overbought now and they'll never buy it. They'll never buy it. Oh well, you know the saying: you snooze, you lose. But anyway, I am not recommending anything, even though I just said that. I'm not a financial advisor. I fucking stupid shit. And, and, I, and if you really think about it, every time I show you my charts in the video, it's already happened. It's our, everything's already happened in the past. So it's not like I'm breaking any fucking rule, I guess. But anyway... If you're going to trade this afternoon, the, the NASDAQ, um, be careful. It's going straight up kind of thing. <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow. And good luck and good trading.